Wipeout is one of two exclusive games accelerated for the ATI Rage Shield. Wipeout was originally released for the PlayStation and MS-DOS in 1995, and first came bundled with the ATI Expression Card in April of 1996. The original Rage ship was impressive on paper, but didn't deliver in terms of performance and direct 3D capability. It was quickly replaced with the improved Rage 2 after just a couple of months on the market. What you see here is Wipeout running on a Pentium 3 system with the Rage Pro card, and the framerate is very smooth, with all the details set to the maximum. This was not exactly what gamers would experience when they got the first Rage card. As you can see here with the game running on a Pentium 133 with 32MB of RAM, which was a fairly common system for 1996. Some might call this playable, but to really enjoy a game like Wipeout without hitting the wall all the time, you really need a smooth framework, and this is not what I call smooth. By activating texture filtering, now, the game almost grinds to a halt. From information I found on the internet, a lot of people were complaining about poor performance in Wipeout on the ATI Rage card, so this was not uncommon. Even in 320x240 you might as well play the game in the DOS version, as you get better or equal framework there. As a second generation, the Rage 2 offers better performance, but it's still not perfect on a Pentium 133. The Rage 2 at least offers much improved performance in texture filtering, as can be seen in this side-by-side -side comparison. On the Rage Pro, the game can really be enjoyed to its full extent. But there are some graphical glitches on the Pro which is not present in the previous generations. This is most likely due to drivers, which was not ATI's strongest point back in the days. The glitches are most noticeable on the flashing billboards. There may be a driver release which fixes this, but I've not been able to test them all, so if you find out, please post in the comments below. Anyway, the Rage port of Wipeout is a huge improvement over the DOS release. This is mainly because the DOS release does not offer a high resolution option. Add to that texture, filtering and 16-bit color and it's clear why the Rage port is the superior version. 